me that, I will ask you one question. What did you put into it? Because just like that glove I showed you here a few weeks ago, you put another one in the end and came back. Okay? So I'm going to ask you to come here, stand, loud and clear, talk. Stay there so that I can present you with your certificate. I can make a couple of comments of some things that I have seen in the past few weeks.
and everything that I need to do from day to day and week to week. And, and I've set some goals for the near future and for uh, long term. Um, one of the uh, things I have taken away from the IME program the past few weeks is being confident and speaking in front of everyone, mainly because I am comfortable around all of you because I know you. Also, I think I have taken away a good sense of using the goals that I set for myself because I know that I have set the goals, but now I am working my way towards making them reality. Um, I feel that from this program I've taken that, you know, you have to think about yourself to make yourself happy. Like, you need to basically, like, evaluate yourself and notice all the upsides. And when you realize what's there, it'll make you happier because there, there is a lot there. Um, something that I've realized from this program is that, like, if someone tells me I can't do something, that, like, I really can't do it, and just keep a positive attitude about everything. Right. Um, what I've learned is, uh, to how to set goals and accomplish the goals and not procrastinate so much. Okay, like, tell me a goal that you've accomplished short term in the, in the say, in the past four weeks. Uh, raised your grades. Raised your grades up. Oh, why? some more. Yes. You're sure? You can do it. Right? When you look in the mirror, what do you see? A leader? Stick to that. Thank you. Um, from the IME program, um, I have learned to set goals, set my priorities straight, and to always stay uh, positive and strong. Um, one of the biggest things that I think I took away from the program is that everybody has a story. You might be scared Um, one thing that I've learned from the IME program is that I can do whatever I want to do in the future and not let anyone tell me I can. Very good. Okay. Um, I've learned to be more self-confident and I can, it, it helped me that I can talk uh, out loud to anybody. Like, so if I can go into a class and I can talk to them. And I learned that uh, don't judge a person by what they look like because they're going to be different. Very good. The IME program has taught me to keep an open mind about such a negative outlook on everything. I used to go on everything thinking I couldn't do it. But now I go everything positive, knowing I can get the job done. I'm not going to let anything hold me back. And I just keep going. All right. okay. <coughs> One thing I learned is to be confident because I learned a little bit about you. And like, it's not like when you come up here, you're like, you'll feel all insecure and stuff. So when I know a little something about you, it'll make you feel comfortable. So. Isn't it a shame we got to have an IME program to get to know people that we're in the same room with for you? Yeah. Huh? yeah. Uh, we're used to looking at the computer and not the person that's on the other side of that computer. But whoever gets to know you is very lucky. Uh, and we are very lucky to have you as part of this class. Uh, you're another young lady that's quiet about it, gets things done. Thank you. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to speak to a group of lawyers and judges here in Pinellas County. And after I finished my talk, one of the juvenile judges came up to me and he said, Frank, would you share some things with your young people? And he gave me three items, and I've added a fourth one since then. But his three things were, number one, it's not a perfect world. And it's not a perfect world. And I apologize to you for my generation because it hasn't made it perfect for you. But my father and grandfather would have to apologize to me because they didn't do a whole lot to make it perfect either. The second thing he said was that it you're going out here and you're going to get knocked down. Everything's not going to be successful. You're going to have some failures along the way. But do you have what it takes to pick yourself up and make it happen? I think you do. If I didn't, I wouldn't have spent 21 years in this classroom. This lady over here would not be teaching. She would be doing something else. She knows you can make it happen. The 
third thing he said, if you're going out here into the world to win a popularity contest, you're going to be sadly disappointed. Because somewhere, somebody, somehow, will not like you. For whatever reason, they may not like the way you comb your hair, the way you dress, and the color of your skin. They'll find a reason not to like you. But that's their problem, not your problem. And then people have always asked me, Frank, how would you describe life? And we talked about life, that the middle of it is ifs, and it's full of ifs. The best way that I can describe life is your life is exactly like this dollar bill. No different. You can spend it any way that you want to spend it, but you only get to spend it one time. So you need to make sure you get the best value for it you can. We live under a flag right here that when we get up in the morning, we're free to make any choice we want to make. What we're not free of is the consequences of those choices. So you need to make sure that you make the right choices. Now, when my granddaughter's step out into the world, you're going to be about three or four years ahead of them. I have no problem leaving my granddaughters to you, because I think you're all going to do a fantastic job. Give yourself a